How's it going everyone? Landon here with TBS. Excited for this week's edition of TBS Live. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm honored to be next to my dear friend Isela. Isela, say hi. ¿Cómo están amigos? Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros en Sintonía aquí en nuestra página de Facebook. Y bueno, pues ya saben que como siempre, teniéndoles información bien importante que les puede ayudar en su rutina diaria. And so on this week's edition of TBS Live, we're going to shift gears a little bit and talk about some of the hot topics in trucking that you, we want here at TBS for you to be aware of. But the whole motive behind this is we want a conversation. We want to hear from you. So if you can hear us and see and make sure everything's good to go, do us a favor, like and share and comment. Let us know that you can hear. Let us know where you're watching this from. And then also pay attention because we have some hot topics we're oh, we really discussing here, Isela. Yeah, we, we, we a big deal. Oh, we do. And we would really want to um, know what you guys think. Absolutely. So just Absolutely. make sure you stay tuned. There's nobody that we want to serve more than you. And here at TBS, we're on the front lines when it comes to serving and advocating on behalf of you. Uh, when it comes to the company driver, the owner operator, someone that's leased onto someone, as well as a small fleet owner, it doesn't matter what company size you are, we're advocating with our president down into management. We're on the front lines of trucking, and so we want you to be a part of the conversation. And so with that, Isela, let's jump right into it if let's you can. Let's do it, yes. Uh, did you like that transition? That was smooth. I think that was smooth. Uh, <laughs> I think you're doing good. No, it's good. You know, just having a little fun here. But the first hot topic we're going to talk about, and maybe you saw this in overdrive, but Pilot Flying J urgent care clinics taking sting out of truck drivers getting a doctor now at seven locations so let me say that again pilot flying j launching urgent care clinics on site to make it very easy for you to have access to a doctor so if you don't mind yourself yeah. i'm going to mention those seven no, locations and you can share the details yeah because yeah, yeah, i think it's a big deal at least for me no you know, absolutely but i'm not on the road so i don't know what it would be like for them. sure and so when it comes to having access to a doctor on the road makes it a lot easier at least from my perspective especially if you're an otr driver when you get home after being three weeks on the road, you don't want to spend the time with your family at the doctor's office. You can take advantage of it on the road. So let me mention these seven locations, and Isela, you can mention how they can oh take advantage gosh. of yes. it. Very big deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. The current seven locations are Baytown, Texas off of I-10, Cartersville, Georgia off of I-75, Dallas, Texas off of I-20, Fontana, California off of I-10. Also, we have South Sierra Plains, Knoxville, Tennessee, off of I-40, and yours truly right here in OKC off of I-40, exit 140, and then Ruther Glen, Virginia, off of I-95 and exit 104. So those are the seven locations that Pilot Flying J has the urgent care clinics. And Isela, you have some specifics on how they I can take do, advantage I do, I do, I do. And one of the good things about this um, is the drivers who actually join the urgent care health network, they actually can pay a flat um, monthly rate um, there's no copay, no deductible. Mm -hmm. Walk-ins are acceptable, and it's understood that between <clears throat> difficult and impossible for drivers to know when they'll have time to get in. And exactly. I know that's like a big deal because you know sure. you guys are on the road, and sometimes by the time I get back and making you know a doctor's appointment, sure. that can be something weather. that I mean the weather. Oh yeah, the weather. Delay. Oh, traffic yes. delays, especially oh, yeah. driving through Dallas. Holy. Sorry. Oh, the, the traffic. I almost cussed on camera. I can't do that. But no, serious, that's a big deal. But one of the things, too, about each clinic has, you know, they have DLT certified nurse practitioner and medical assistants who's going to provide not just physical, mm -hmm. but all primary care services, such as like routine Absolutely. illnesses, like colds and for the flu, you know, cuts, muscle strains, and other things that, you know, if you're just not feeling good, period, and you feel like you need to go in, they're actually going to um, be there for you. And of course, again, you know, there's, you don't really have to make an appointment. Walk-ins are, you know. Walk-ins are welcome. Yeah, they're welcome. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, if you, one of the cool things that I also saw was a physical. You know, you can walk in and just take a physical with. Absolutely. I'm taking, what, Do you need minutes? insurance? Well. I don't think you do. No. I mean, if you don't have insurance, no problem. No, They'll take no. cash, cash paying customers as well, which is a big deal. And, and I, I think with those details, anything else that you want to share there? No, that that's like the big, the, the, one of the, the big, big things. Oh yeah, the big highlight of this is, you know, you're not having to, to um, you don't have to worry about a copay or the deductibles. Absolutely, no copay, no deductibles, big deal. Just get the doctor yeah. that you need when you need it on your terms, not someone else's terms, which is a big deal. Um, big question though, is that, from us, we think that's a big deal. What right. about you? Is that something that you see valuable? Can we help in advocating for more urgent care locations? with PFJ, but also with other great fuel stations around the nation. I know there's TF, TA, and others that are a big deal that get, have, that, that got, God, my <laughs> goodness, can I speak? <laughs> that have many yeah. locations across the nation, excuse right. me. And so let us know, 
Is that a big deal? Is that something that's is really going to benefit them? Is yeah. that going to benefit you? So that's a big, big important topic. It is. So now, let me, now we're going to switch it up because I have another hot topic. Okay, and this isn't going on right now in trucking, Absolutely. and of course, it's um, definitely driver pay. Driver I know pay. I hear this a lot on my end. Of course, I'm in the sales department, so I hear this. Detention is unruly for high schoolers, not trained professionals. Mm. So one of the things, if you've ever called a cab, here's some potential surprising news. You know, they measure detention by the minute, not by the hour. Mm -hmm. And if the mm -hmm. um, the number of minutes that they are, you know, that they've got, you know, that you take them getting your luggage and, you know, the hotel and all this good stuff, it can expire. Absolutely. The driver so, is in control. Right. Outside of the trucking industry, like with Uber, with cab drivers, etc. Right. But for some reason in trucking. It's different. It's different. You don't have the control when it comes to your pay as you, we believe, in our opinion, mm -hmm. you should. And I think it would be great to hear from you as well when it comes to driver pay. Oh yeah, I would love to hear. You know, give us, let us know how you what, what you think and how you feel about it. You know, let Absolutely. us know in the comments and below. And expanding on what you said, mm -hmm. Isela, here's a, a couple bits of information for you when it comes to this news. According to research compiled by compiled recently by CCJ, as well as Trucker News, as well as our friends at Overdrive, drivers cite lack of respect behind low pay as the top two reasons they leave employers. My question, our question to you is, do you agree with that? Are those the top two reasons? Lack of respect and then low pay as two reasons why you may leave an employer. We want to hear from you on that. That's yeah. a big deal. And it goes on to talk about valuing your time, the driver, the owner operator, the small fleet owner, valuing, valuing your time and compensating them for that time is certainly an extension of respect. And I know that implementing a system that pays drivers for the hours they use not just the hours they drive, but the hours they use, especially if a handful of those hours are wasted on a shipper whose hours behind schedule takes care of both of the issues. And so what is your solution when it comes to driver pay? Should it be by the hour or should it be by the mile? We'd love to hear from you on that. Yes. A very, very important topic. So what other topic do you have for us? We're gonna end on a very hot topic and it's hitting the, new, hitting the news across the world. I, I'm sorry, I just I, I, I might get too excited so my Southern comes out a little bit. <laughs> So it's hitting the news, it's diesel fuel continues to rise. So we had diesel prices continue to have the spring upswing. Another increase in diesel fuel prices, prices during the week ending May 7th marks the seventh consecutive week prices have risen across the country. With the latest increase, the price of a gallon on the highway diesel is now $3.17. Which it's, that's risen a lot. It's up 1.4 cents, as you're saying, Isela, over the last week's national average. So we want to know where are you seeing the diesel price at, at your location. So put in the comment thread the city that you're filling up in and what the cost is. And Isela, right. you've got some more information oh, yeah, where because we can see the hikes. Other prices in the region, you know, according to the DOE, are for one New England, $3.21 yep. per gallon. Central Atlantic, they're looking at $3.33. Midwest, $3.09. And the Rocky Mountains, Three dollars and twenty-four cents. So, per mile numbers during the week saw fuel prices, you know, jumping up like Dan and said. I mean, you're looking at one point seven to three point uh, three dollars and twelve cents per gallon nationwide. So, that's I know huge. that's very important. But you know, we really do want to know what do you guys think. Give you know in the comment below. Let us know mm -hmm. the prices. Absolutely. What do you guys think about the urgent care? What do you guys think about the driver pay? We want to know this. You know, somebody comment. You know, uh, I'm sorry. Share, tag them. Absolutely, and also comment. We want yeah. to know what yes. you're thinking. But here's the thing, if you're needing a fuel discount solution because of this increase of diesel prices, here at TBS we have one. Isela, you want to mention a little bit about that? That's right. Remember, no pitch, just some honest information. We have information. our own, our very own fuel cards that can actually help you out with getting some really good discounts. So for more information, yeah. just give us a call. We'll, or let us know down below mm -hmm. and we'll reach out to you. Shoot us a message through Facebook. We'll definitely message back. Yes. We're on that literally during the business hours all day long on the weekend. Whatever way we can get that information to us, over, over, over to you, excuse me, let us know. I, I just get too excited about all these topics. I talk too fast. I see. <laughs> so, now don't make fun of me. I know you're going to no, give me no. a hard time after this. And tell Isela not to be mean to me. That's what we need to know. Okay, so that's what you need to be able to advocate on my behalf, please. Uh, but from all of us here at TBS, hopefully you've enjoyed these topics. Like Isela mentioned, we want to hear from you. Join us next week for the TBS Live. And also, make sure you get a part of this conversation and like, comment, and share this video. Así es, y bueno, muchísimas, I'm sorry, I said that in Spanish, like, you knew. 
what I, I do say. know. I, I'm learning. <laughs> Pero muchísimas gracias por estar en sintonía con nosotros siempre en nuestra página en vivo, como siempre los jueves a, la cuatro, a las 4 de la tarde. Esperemos de que la información que le hemos dado el día de hoy sea algo que les interese. Y por favor, les pedimos, eh, denos su opinión, lo que ustedes piensan sobre de los servicios que hemos encontrado hoy en día. Y bueno, pues no se lo pierdan. Ellos saben que estaremos aquí cada jueves a las 4 de la tarde. Y bueno, pues muchísimas gracias. Guys, we'll see you next week on this week's edition of TVS Live, 4 p.m. Central. See you next week.